So have you ever missed a flight? Um, this is my second flight I miss. The first one was uh, it's kind of funny, but it, this one is quite it's quite interesting. Um, um, it's quite interesting for the simple reason that I was the I mean the flight was scheduled to leave at four. Uh, it was a flight to Chicago, and it was a connecting flight. And I arrive at the uh, check-in desk at 10 past 3. They tell me. I mean, I didn't have to check in any, any baggage or anything. Uh, and they tell me that um, that's it. Check-in closed. There's no way I'm going to get in the flight. Um, this flight has cost in total return. We're talking about... Um, talking about yeah almost a thousand pound a thousand uh, US dollars let's have a look um, yeah let's, let's actually get into it um, now it's been booked I mean it's Norwegian Air Airlines uh, it's quite a good lesson so uh, it's Norwegian Airlines and this is what I've got from Kiwi I actually booked it through Kiwi Kiwi was used before so have a look if I got it here yes on the 30th Book and received, and what they say in here once I made my uh, my point and my complaint is uh, uh, so that we can actually see. I'm gonna open it here that we can see it. First of all, we're sorry that you're here and unable to take your flight London to Chicago. However, like to uh, we like to assist you. Unfortunately, there is no cover from the Kiwi guarantee. Article 4.1 point B is stated that where is it? Nobody knows. I mean, what is this legislation or something? Who knows? It stated that the Kiwi, uh, that the Kiwi.com guarantee. Again, I don't know where to find that. The article and all that applies only to flight delays, cancellation flights announced uh, 48 hours prior, and so on. Flights which may negatively impact your ability to reach your destination. <coughs> or arrival at the destination shall change by more than uh, for 24 hours to the arrival uh, due to flight delays or cancellations uh, you would either miss your um, you would either miss your flights connections or your flights would be cancelled and then scenario B uh, uh, repair the scenario B who knows where it is actually Is that I don't know where it is and then we're going to go back into the information, okay? Upon checking uh, on our end, uh, the flight is not delayed and departs on schedule, okay? Good, yes, I acknowledge that. But the point is here that normally the check-in closes, um, I mean, especially if you don't have to get baggages, baggages in, half an hour, maximum 45 minutes before departure, scheduled departure, maximum. And I didn't have any languages whatsoever to, to check in. And then we looked at it in the uh, in the ticketing, okay? So this is why it's very odd. And I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. I mean, come on. Uh, moreover, it is the responsibility of the passenger uh, the, um, to be early on the flight. Uh, at least two, three, two, four hour, uh, two to three hours before the scheduled departure of first flight in order to avoid issues during travel. Now... This is a very important point, then we're going to see whether we're going to find any information about that. Normally what happens in real life, and it does happen throughout Europe and the world over, because I've actually traveled not only to Europe, Asia, uh, South America, the United States of America before. And uh, what happens is norm you're normally there uh, either two hours or um, one hour before something of the sort. And normally there's not, there's not any, any problem. Now we're going to look at the information that we got from Kiwi and we should have actually got some information about that from Norwegian Airlines about the uh, check-in because actually what I was told that uh, when I was there that the, the check-in closed at uh, one hour before scheduled departure. One hour before, we're talking about 3 p. I I mean I was there at, at 10 past 3, at 10 past 3, okay, it's amazing. And it closed at 3, okay one hour before um, and I had no language okay, okay. in uh, this regard what we can advise you uh, right now is 
to fill out the refund application form online for the unused out outbound flights. Now we're going to try to do that and see and see what you can we we get. But we're going to get you updated on that anyway. It's again it's Kiwi.com and Norwegian Airline. Uh, we're going to look at the flights later on in this video. Now you can easily find the form and da da da. Please. Be reminded that a 20 euro handling fee will be applied and this will be considered as a voluntary cancellation, okay? The whole refund process may take up to 30 days to complete from the time we have received the refund from form and will send you the results of your request by email. Kindly note that Kiwi.com does not hold any authority in deciding the refund you will get as a result of your request would depend on the airline's policy cancellation refund. So I'm going to pay 20 euros on top and we're going to use the, uh, we're going to just, it's, it's a roulette, okay, this is what it is, it's a roulette. We're gonna, I'm just going to pay another 20, 20 euros, okay. Uh, we hope for your kind understanding. This is, I mean, this is the, the, the result of my kind of understanding. And if you need more clarification, please let me know. Yeah, any, um, I think this is kind of clear. Should you need further assistance, please feel free to contact uh, via phone or email. We are more than glad to assist you uh, here 24 7. Oh, we're going to make them uh, a phone call later on. Uh, now look, so look at the um, at what they sent, okay? Because we're gonna look at everything in this video, show remote content, booking, great bargains, rooms, Dallas, most popular, blah 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 blah. Okay, this is just um, like it was, uh, advertising and um, booking boarding pass attached. If I had the boarding pass of the flight. I've actually could have actually because I the point is at the check-in I needed to go through check-in in order to get a boarding passes boarding pass attached okay we're gonna look at it. I'm gonna actually open this email okay we'll open it we're gonna go there see okay and we're going to pass okay, go Dallas which I actually printed so that's the boarding pass Chicago Dallas which I'm not gonna be able to take because I'm still in the UK London Dallas. Then I, I presented that and I said, oh, I'm sorry sir, this is not a boarding pass. Okay? So I got an email saying that I've got a boarding pass. And then I, when I... Oh yes. People will complete the online check-in for this flight and send you the boarding pass. In a separate email, passenger do not provide us with their error. Details will have check-in at the airport. And by the way, um, they did have the uh, passport uh, ID details, okay, so this is the thing, okay. So they did have it, yep, and they didn't give me the boarding pass for that flight. Uh, the flight, I thought the, actually the, um, if I had the boarding pass, I wouldn't actually uh, have missed it, yep. So uh, this is that, so you can actually um, pause the video, you can read it, sorry. Just a little bit too fast here. Okay. Again. Guarantee refund cancellation will get your final destination refund part of the journey. Visas. Okay, so I'll look at if we find anything. It's not responsible for any major issue. You ASA, including transit visa, responsibility of the passenger. It's not that they that they can um, correct documents, you may not be allowed. This is not a problem. Because I did have everything I needed. Yeah. Uh yeah. And see whether actually if you can see the baggage, check in, doesn't say get at the airport at least two hours before the scheduled depart um, departure, all times are local. Actually, admittedly, they actually put it in writing there. So that, admittedly, at least, which will be fair charge. Check in personally at the airport. Okay. I mean, in total, yeah, they did actually say it there, which is good. On oh, no. there. Um, yes, but I mean, come on, they didn't actually say about that. 
well, it would be I mean that's it one hour uh, before the scheduled flight I wouldn't issue any boarding pass one hour um, one hour before a schedule, the scheduled flight is to say from three the scheduled flight was at four and then from three onwards I wouldn't actually have given any um, any uh, bone passes this is all I need it is just a bone pass very simple a simple bone pass checked in online send a bone pass and a separate email don't forget to print it before the airport passengers could not provide us with their ID which I did uh, so it would have been uh, if I had the, the bone pass I wouldn't have actually missed that okay so uh, yeah there's nothing there nothing there see whether you can find it I mean I'm just uh, trying to find myself okay I only had one baggage the hand baggage okay five kilograms which it was checked and all that and I was I mean I was also sure that, that only I had only a backpack this guy very small one no, so no subject to the terms and conditions for information available on their website. Okay, I maybe should have actually gone to actually um, uh, gone onto their website uh, with all due fairness. But obviously, I mean, when you buy tickets, when would you go in and check on their website? Okay, that's one. We've come to it. So we're gonna go and then we're gonna go and options see options showing the content so we've got that download the ticket see what I actually made manage my bookings invoice okay. mm, travel documents attached so look I'm gonna open that one Here we go. We take it. It's not acceptable as a boarding pass, unfortunately. For that flight, no. It's actually still painful to, to see this. And I'm, I'm here uh, looking at this. It's quite painful. I actually should. Um, okay, that's it. That's basically nothing new we've got this okay but this is when I've been uh, terms and conditions so this is anything something more on terms and conditions which I didn't read in advance and obviously um, everyone everyone reads them you guarantee optional costs and charges service agreement Conditions of charge, carriage, and all that. Charge, liability of damage, dispute resolution. Um, okay, this is the Czech Republic. Oh, yes, so I'm gonna go to the court of Czech Republic now. I'm gonna file dispute. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, yeah, so that, that gives you uh, um, an overview. You can go and uh, check the terms and conditions here oh yes we've got the scenario B oh yes now we've got the scenarios is in the terms and conditions okay beautiful but yeah that's pretty much the the whole thing okay so what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is the uh, uh, I'm gonna try and get this thing refunded and I'm gonna give it a try together manage my booking I'll try to get it. See whether uh, I tried to log in, but um, I couldn't do it before. Um, look, yep, that's it. See that. I don't think I've ever uh, set up a an, uh, no online account with them. Checking to the end shows and try again. Try to got password and then um, hyphen ltd.com. So look at what happens. Save. Right. 
Raquetas. Teresa Raquetas, así de Bertizzi, un abrazo de Shivani Raquetas. Gonna go and send out. As soon as I get, I'm gonna stop the video for a while. I need to get that passport. My passport not shown in the video. I'm gonna stop right now to wait on the email. So we're gonna carry on. I've um, reset the password to see whether we can actually log in now. Uh, that one. There's my bookings. See whether we can do that. Sign in. Again. Okay. Um, additional uh, hotels, car hire, flight, change. Oh, it pains me so much to see it there. Edit passengers. Probably we can change anything there. Basically, the the board and pass that wouldn't. Can be changed anymore. London, Dallas. Can't be changed anymore. Can be changed. So look. Let's see what we can change. No, I'm trying to get a cancellation for this. So, uh, let's see what it can actually do. Booking. Cancellation. Let's see what it can actually do. The fund for this booking is only available before. How's it turning? No, okay. Nothing. Very passing So, basically, we an application for a reason. So I'm going to say description. I was at the check in desk at Gatwick. I Board. Um, at three ten p.m. and they did not, and they did refuse to print my boarding pass. Pass because they. Said the check in closed at three PM despite the flight being scheduled for four PM. To depart, uh, schedule to depart, depart, yeah, select all of them, one, two, three, four, it's uh, obviously everything has been, that's, yeah, make a choice, I want a complete refund, so I'm it. See, now it's going to ask me, see, oh, thanks for the refund application. It will take to 30 days and we'll let you know the result by email. Enter, manage my book. So look, I'm just going to click on that. Yeah, nothing. Okay.
that's pretty much it for this video. We'll uh, let you know um, when we hear back from these uh, guys. Uh, yeah, so to summarize, uh, once again, um, the total price, you see the total price is almost a thousand dollars, return ticket, and um, yeah, application received, and um, I missed the um, the first flight because I was there, at, I was at chicken desk at 310, the flight was department at 4, so plenty of time, um, once again, it's I mean, this is uh, quite normal um, as far as I went to so well, so many countries, but um, they closed, said that they wouldn't actually let me check in, uh, not even check in a baggage dump because I didn't have any baggage to check in. Wouldn't actually, um, again, Norwegian Airlines, um, the check in was closed, therefore, it wouldn't give me a boarding pass. If I had a boarding pass, it would have been. I would actually go through security. I had I have my, uh, my backpack with me. Everything was, was ready, so I only need the boarding pass for that not to happen. But I actually got the wrong boarding pass, the one that I would have got quite shortly. Uh, I think I suspect it's actually done possibly on purpose because if I, I mean, it's more likely to to. I mean, w once you're there, uh, you're on the first flight, then you have that guarantee, therefore I have to um, make sure you're going to go and get on the second flight. So uh, if something is wrong in terms of a delay or something, then it's a bollock for them. So it's much, statistically, it's much better if they, not to give you the first boarding pass. So if you, if you miss it, they actually... If they actually don't print the boarding pass, it's your fault, and that's simply that. So, um, pretty much because they didn't print, they didn't want to print the boarding pass. They said the chicken was closed again. Three ten, ten past three, scheduled flight at four. The uh, the entire thing was gone. So we'll have the results of um, of this, and we'll let you know again. Uh, the companies involved, Kiwi.com, um, who, if I want to take to court, I say, but I, mean, I wouldn't, I'm not that sort of person, I would do it um, in the Czech Republic, which I don't think I'm going to go and learn Czech or uh, get a Czech lawyer to actually do that. So basically, if something goes wrong with, with them, then um, have fun. Uh, put and taking them to court in the Czech Republic, uh, unless you're Czech, of course. Then Norwegian Airlines, uh, we're gonna go back and just list the um, the companies, just in case. So, um, the record, so Norwegian Airlines has done this this nice thing, didn't allow me to get onto the, the flight from London to Chicago, to Chicago, and then yeah. Dallas to Los Angeles from no Spirits Airlines. I mean, this one is it's not nothing I can actually say to them. Uh, yes, and again, look at how nice it is. A thousand US dollars. Oh yes, very nice. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, peace out. Uh, is um, um, is Easter? Have a nice Easter.